so I'd just been laid off from um, a job before that because of COVID. I um, was on furlough for a little while and then they laid us off. And then I was just, from there, found out my partner was pregnant. Um, she was in her last year of uni as well, doing that all from home. So from there I thought, right, I need to get myself a career. Went to college, studied plumbing, went to look for plumbing apprenticeships, couldn't get anything. So I looked at other alternatives, other different types of apprenticeships. I knew what I wanted to do, it was like anything like sort of um, working with my hands. This one come along, I liked the look of it, I thought I'll apply for it. Kind of done fencing before, in the sense of like, my dad and my uncle, they're both builders, so they've like, gone to work with them quite a bit, so I applied for it come in for the interview. They said I'd done really well. I got offered the job there and then, ready to start in December. And yeah, the rest is history. I wanted to have a career and not be sort of working in a warehouse or working in a shop. Like the ability to go places and keep going up and up and that's what I was looking for, and I'm glad I found that now, so. When I started, um, Simon and Chris had kind of arranged a day for where I'd be at home doing college work one day a week, and then, so on that day, Chris would then go around looking at jobs that we'd be doing. So then while I do college work, Chris would then plan for the week, and yeah, but I mean, having that one day, that's helped me get through quite a lot of my college work that I need for my apprenticeship. If ever I've needed anything, there's always been someone on hand that can help me with it. So if I needed a bit of advice on something or I wasn't sure on something, there's always somebody there that I could rely on, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I just want to keep going and just see where it takes me. <laughs>